bello. Welcome back to Bella Lucinetto. I'm Christina and I'm so glad that you're with me today. If you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. No matter how long you've been here, I always appreciate your time. I, again, have no idea when you're going to see this, um, but uh, this is the third installment of my yarn room organization. It is the same day for me. Uh, but I did an intro video and then I did almost an hour long video where I just chatted with you while I looked for <laughs> the thing that I needed, um, to put my hooks in and the thing that I needed, uh, that my hooks had been in, I, like trying to sort through all of that. So, uh, I have made some progress. Uh, I'm going to show you kind of what I've done so far and then... Maybe we'll have another video. I don't know if I'm going to get everything done today. Um, especially not the way that I want it. But I do have more floor space. Because I have gotten rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. Now they're not all big boxes. And some of them you saw me get rid of in the other video. Um... The Lether Co. boxes. I had a big box. I thought that I had put all of that into my um, word inventory, but I had not. So I started going through it, and I was like, "Oh, I can put this away." And I was like, "Let me check because I don't know that I have all of these." Well, I didn't. So where's my water? Here it is. Um, I had to stop and do that, and then. I have uh, been trying to sort through things to make things that I know that I'm going to want for projects. So, for example, I showed you guys this um, in another video. This was stuff that I bought from Antoinette. Uh, the, the, this part. This is stuff that I bought at a local yarn shop. My daughter wanted me to make something for her um, stuffed animals with it. So I have it. I haven't done anything with it yet. Uh, and then, but I thought I put it all in one bag. So this is my daughter's bag for things she wants me to make for her stuffed animals. This bag, and I'm going to switch these into project bags. But a lot of this yarn was already in this bag. So I kept it in here, and I've shown you this before. This is that 100% um, sugar cane yarn that I also got. It's the same place that I got this. Not at the same time, but, well, some of it at the same time. But uh, This I bought when I went, I took Sam birthday shopping. This one, because my daughter just had to have something. And then this, I bought um, a couple of these at the same time, and then a different time. So, but I, I know I want to make a shirt. I know the shirt I want to make with it, um, but I have it in a bag. And then I have another bag. Oh, sorry. I moved too fast. I have another bag that has some stuff in it for my daughter. Uh, but it's, so the idea is that, like I said, I could make project bags, utilize the bags that I have and put planned projects in them. Right, I'm going to set these down. I'm going to walk a little slowly so that I don't make a mess of things. Um, I utilized the bins. Oh, let me grab this actually because there's one I can show you while I'm putting it in. So I had purchased when I was still in the States these Hobby Lobby um, mini skein packs. So the cotton one is on top. And so I've used a lot of them, but um, they were just sitting in the boxes. And I was like, I don't need the boxes if I have these things. I didn't buy, I didn't buy these things specifically to change these out. I just bought them to organize. But there's no sense in having all of this stuff. So I just put the little purple one back in because uh, I had used it to make, or I was going to use it to work on an amigurumi cat for my daughter and I ended up using something else. So when I cleaned out the project bag <laughs> that that stuff had been in, um, I was like, okay, I can put that back. But 
So I put some mini skeins in here. And then the other one, I put like notions, extra notions, and then other little mini skeins in there. Uh, and then I have just a bin for trash. So this is how I've been doing all of my trash stuff. So this is another, oh, I moved too fast again. This is another, the other bin. So this has notions and little mini uh, bonbons and things like that. And then on the bottom is all of the Koiku that I got. Um, again, on a Yarn Stash Facebook group. Those things are very, very handy. Um, There's one more box that I need to sort through. But... Um, just going to do a slow pan and kind of show you the difference. I may pop on and do another video. I don't know if it's going to be a finale or an addition or, 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 or. But I wanted to kind of show you guys the project progress that I had made on this project. That's where I was going with that sentence. And again, it is messy, uh, but it's not as messy, so I feel better about that. Uh, and I'm trying very hard, or I do this a lot, where I say, okay, I'm going to put this here because then I'm going to put it away. No, I just need to put it away. That, that's what I need to do. I need to just put it away. And... I'm trying to do that now. So instead of just putting things in a place and saying, okay, all of this stuff is going to go here later, I'm trying to stop and make sense of all of that. So you are going to move. So if you are motion sick, just close your eyes or something or fast forward. I don't know, but we're going to move. Are we ready? Here we go. So, this is the door area. I don't know if you can see. Hold on, I'm trying to get where you can see the door. Um, oh, there. Okay. So, all of that stuff on the floor. Oh, you can see me filming myself, filming myself. <laughs> all this. Um, there is still that box that I need to do inventory on, but there are all those little boxes. Um, I had some furls hooks, my dots hooks that I was gifted, the boxes for the mini skeins. All that stuff is out in the doorway, so I can't escape until I'm done. <laughs> uh, and then I have all of that to um, put in the recycling. And then if we go... Down here, you have uh, one bin that I need to sort through, and then my Leaker Co. Hanks and my Mace of Skeins Hanks that I put in that basket, and then we're going to pan up. Here we go. This now has, this is that kitchen island, and it has just... Uh, the KFI Hanks and the Hanks that I got from Pensolo, which I'm going to put those in a project bag. Um, you're on my thing there. Sorry. Just trying to get you where you can see. So I have, um, these are the KFI Hanks here. And then these are actually, this is another obsession of mine. Um, a while back, there was this lady who was doing uh, cups. So I have I have lots of these, like tumblers, but I don't like the ones that are all, um, that have the stuff all over the top. Uh, this one actually glows in the dark. Um, but it helps me um, stay hydrated. I don't necessarily like the ones with the handles, like I don't know, what is that company? It's out right now with all the fancy, um, Things. Anyway, 
I was gifted one of these, not this one, but one of these by a friend of mine when I was in North Carolina, and she was like, oh yeah, this lady in Florida makes them, blah, blah, blah. She does all these lives on Facebook and does all auctions. And so I ended up buying, I don't know, you have those cups, but I would gift them. So like, I bought some for my mom, I bought some for my son, I bought some for my nephew, my aunt, all, all this stuff, right? But one of the things that I did get and keep was a set of four. And we use these every Christmas since I bought them. More pole mugs. And I, because I love Christmas so much. So you can't really read the bottom part um, and that's okay. But it is, it looks like it has chocolate all on it. It's North Pole and we use it for hot chocolate. Um, when my son was around, um, we would do, and we still do, my daughter and I, but it's different when there's just two. Um, it can't, it was a set of four. I couldn't buy just, you know, three or whatever, but, um, I had to have a set of four. And, uh, I, we would drink hot chocolate while we were doing our activity. So on Christmas Eve, we always do an activity, whether it's painting, game night, making cookies, whatever it is. I mean, we always make cookies, but we have our hot cocoa and then we switch out to a different beverage once that cocoa is gone. But I have my set of four. This is a Christmas tree that I crocheted um, when I was living in the hotel when I first moved here to Sicily. And I have a star garland that I made as well. So because I didn't have a Christmas tree, because I didn't have my things yet, and I didn't want to buy one because I knew I had a Christmas tree, I just made one. And we hung it up so that Santa would know where to put our gifts for Christmas. And so this needs to go with my Christmas decorations. I do have the star garland already out there. So all of this stuff actually is gonna be going out of the room. But as I've shown you, I've locked myself in basically until I, I finish this task. It wasn't on purpose, but that's what I did. So I have all of those cups that set there. This is a bag um, I got from J Hook Crochet when I got one of her um, boxes. It came with two hanks of her um, plant hand dyed yarn. So the Troublemaker's yarn. I'll get this one with this stitch. I'll put this over there. They don't have a place for that right now. But this was the yarn that I was going to grab and everything was in the way. So this is the yarn that I got when I was in Pensolo. I already showed it in a video, but this is another example of something I'm going to put in a project bag. Uh, actually, I just have a bag right here. I'm going to do it right now. Do it right now, Christina. Do it right now. My Cheshire cat bag. So, I'll put this in here. And that will be a plan. I don't know. I don't know what I want. I wanted to make um, like a big um, doily, like um, something I could put on the wall that didn't even stay up there. But I don't. I don't know that that's gonna work. So. just on the bag. Okay. It's like, what in the world? It's, it's got anchors all over it. Let me pick that up. Sorry if I'm moving too fast. If it's getting blurry again, my apologies. Okay. So that will stay there. So then over here, which you can't see because I fixed it. So this container right here has all different manner of buttons in it. Um, and I got that at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. Then there's a basket. I, oh, and these are my light bulb jars that I was telling you guys about. So it looks pretty cool to me. <laughs> it's got all the yarn in it. Um, 
Oh, more trash. And more trash. And more trash. Just more trash. Just have a little cube down there that I'm putting trash in, so move all that stuff over. Um, and then I still have the mini cakes and stuff down here. Um, and books and things that I have to sort through. And then over here, this looks a lot cleaner. Um, I still don't have anywhere to put my bamboo yarn. And then in the back of this is the Sweet Divinity yarn that I pulled out of another bin. So I basically combined two bins because I had this yarn in a bin with just several hanks and then this, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Um, this was supposed to go to Nelly. Um, and then I moved here and I haven't had the heart to do anything with it. I really haven't. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll put it in with something, but I have some other hanks in here that wouldn't fit in my cubes over there. Um, sorry, you can't really see me in my cubes over there because um, it's full. <laughs> and then, so we'll go around some more. This is my cotton cabinet. It doesn't look too different. <laughs> I really haven't done. I moved some stuff out. So I had two big things of like t-shirt yarn that I moved out. And put this is I've, I've done a video on this already cotton collage yarn it was in the box of um, there we go it was in the box of premier yarn that I thought I had recorded in my inventory and I hadn't so um, I thought let me put it here and then I took the two big um, balls of yarn. No, they're not balls of yarn, but the two big um, round things. <laughs> they're not skeins either at all. Cakes. That's the word. Woo! Uh, the two big cakes of yarn. Um, I put them, which you'll see in a minute, my black container. And then I had a whole bunch of this um, classic yarn, um, cotton yarn by Stylecraft that I put in here. Um, but I, I didn't put too much more in here. I did move some things around. So like this black yarn was, it's Hobby Lobby. I love this, um, cotton, but it was down here on the bottom and I moved it up here with all the rest of the Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. And then I wonder why that is sticking like that. There is nothing there. But I don't want to force it closed because it was a used cabinet when I got it. I got it. Someone was selling it in North Carolina and I thought, oh, wouldn't that be a pretty display cabinet for my yarn? So we went and got it. So it definitely needs some work, some TLC and all of that, but it's okay for now. All right, so let's move on. Um, oh, here I can show you the floor. So there was a whole bunch of stuff on the floor down here and most of it is gone. This down here actually needs to go into my office space because a lot of it is like binder clips and pens and pencils and other things that don't need to be in here, which is why I hesitate to combine the desk in there and the desk in here because it's too many different things. All right. So then there's that and then we go back up so this is the oops sorry I'm trying to let go gently nope it's coming forward that's my microphone this is the black cart here okay um it did have, and I'm not done with this yet. I don't really know 
what I'm going to do over here. I was just trying to get some of the yarn off the floor um, so that I could have space in here and um, be able to do some things. But I do have a bin that I put bags in. Um, and then I have another bin that was actually over on the black cubes um, that has notions pouches in them. Let's go look here. So it's got all kinds of notions pouches and little bags in there. Again, I buy things and I'm like, oh, that's cute. And then I projects for all of that to work and I don't have I don't have enough like uh, tape measures and all that little things I guess maybe I need to make some the little stitch marker containers and all of that but I don't I don't have that right now so um, I have this here I do have a couple of empty bins um, which I'll have more empty bins in uh, a little bit once I again condense some things down um, I didn't really change much on my yarn cubes close this so I didn't really change much over here that would be a really big under undertaking and I don't have that in me right now I did fill in some of the holes that I had so where the um, sugar roll cotton the sage here so you have these multicolored cakes, so you have the Hanks, the multicolored cakes, and then this one closest to the brown cabinet. There's sage and nutmeg, um, sugar roll cotton cakes in there. I did put the one cake, this one right here, that I uh, used for the dodgy bag mouth. This was the third one that I didn't use, so I put that back. Some cotton ripple cakes that I put in there. I do have some room all the way up at the top and that top middle bin, but I don't have my ladder and it's upstairs. And if I leave this room right now, I'm not gonna get anything else done in here. So I'm just gonna leave it for now. Gently let go, gently let go. Okay. Um, so I didn't do too much over there. I did, like I said, I did fill in some holes, but that was about it um, because I just don't have I don't want to. I don't want to redo all that right now. I mean, I have ideas, but I don't want to redo it right now. So then, this um, is the brown cabinet, which I'll put it this way. I'll pan you over. We're moving again. So there is a lamp over there. So I'll wait for it to. Adjust. There we go. Um, I think maybe because of the light, it's blowing out. Hold on, I'm going to turn this lamp off. It may make it a little bit darker in here, but it might help with the. So I did put, I had these, which again, I've already shown in a video, I had these um, in uh, one of these little bins, and I just put them up there. This cake and my cloud cake I had in a bin. Um, this is the other yarn that I have for my daughter. Um, again, it will find its way to a project bag. Um, I don't know, I still have, I haven't even touched the bags that I have outside in the hallway to bring in of the yarn that I need to sort, but that'll probably be another, another video. Um, and then I had, I moved some of the Karen Kindness yarn down at the bottom, down here. And I have two big cotton uh, skeins that would not fit in my cotton cabinet that I got from Marlene um, for my Happy Mail Advent. So I put those in there. 
because I had the space and I know that I have some other skeins. I have some Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn um, from the Granny Spike My Ripple Blanket and I have room down there that, that will go down there. Um, I did put away a lot of scraps. My desk is fairly clean. Um, the only thing is, you guys, and I know I've asked this in other videos, maybe you have some suggestions. I don't like this, this space here. I don't like the fact that all the bins are just in there. I would like to get some, um, like wire shelves or something that would fit in there. And I could just organize the yarn in there. I know I probably wouldn't fit as much yarn in there as I have in there right now if I had the shelves, but, um, these just don't, uh, they don't do it for me. I've tried like the little cubes to put in there, but it's such a weird space that only so many will fit. Um, and I used to have the bins stacked like this way, sideways like this, so that you could see the yarn that was in there. I mean, I know it's in there, but um, I don't know. I just I haven't done anything with that space. I just keep pulling yarn in and out of it. So any ideas that you have, um, they would be welcomed. So uh, I do have blankets and shawls. I put them up there. You can't see where I'm pointing. So moving again. I put them up there with the blanket um, just to get them out of the way for now. And I want to get kind of like, you know, one of those things they make for coats and jackets that you see in classrooms. I want to get something like that to put in here. Maybe, I don't know. But there's that. And then over here, um, I love these little knobs. I got these at, these I didn't get at Hobby Lobby. These I got at a thrift shop. These I got at Hobby Lobby. And the ones that are on the bottom cabinet, you can't see. I did get those at Hobby Lobby. Um, but then over here in this area, I did take out. These are the hooks that I got from France. These are the dots hooks that Mama Jan gave me. She gifted me these. Um, I put those in there. And then I do have my hooks. Um, I found my other... Uh, Leaker Co. hooks. Words are so hard today. I'm so sorry, you guys. <sighs> so I found those, and I went ahead and opened up my um, Omi hooks and my uh, Burl's hooks. I took them out of the boxes just to kind of declutter some because I still have my uh, furls, Tunisian hooks. I will not put those anywhere but in the boxes. So, um, I have, we're moving again. I have my hooks here. I have several of them here. And we're going to put them. See, every time I move the camera down like that, the microphone wants to swing forward. Alright. So maybe I'll move this over. So you can see. So I found, I actually found two more um, Leaker Co. hooks. So it's an I and an F. And I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I knew it was going to be something that I needed to put somewhere else. Um, but I think my fingers have had a little bit of a rest trying to get in these little spots. The other hooks aren't so bad, but these ones with the knobs on them, that it, it's painful to push that in there. Uh, I have gotten a lot of my desk space cleared off, which is nice. So I can actually put this on my desk and do this. Um, okay. So then I think my furls hooks and my omi hooks I'm going to put here. This one was gifted by Nishi. Um, she was my um, Secret Santa partner for 
uh, Big Tail Ladybird Loves um, Secret Santa thing. And then this one I bought uh, myself before I moved out of the U.S. Um, because it reminded me of um, The Wizard of Oz, which obviously I love very much. I have it permanently tattooed on my body. Um, and then these are Omi hooks. Um, this one I was gifted by um, Antoinette at Hook It and Stitch and Island Style. And then these two I purchased for myself. So this is like a cookies and cream one. I did a giveaway with this one. Not this one, but I bought two of them to do a giveaway for. And then I have this this one here. So I, with resin hooks, I really tend not to use them because I am afraid that I'm going to break them because I crochet so very tightly that I am worried that they are going to snap in my hands. And I know they're not made that way, um, but, um, and then this is uh, an Andromeda um, Pearls resin hook that I purchased when I purchased the, um, ow, that hurts, part of my cuticle, it's like sticking out, it hurts, um, when I purchased the um, emerald one, and then also the pride um, glitter hook. So I have used these hooks. I've done reviews on them, and I have used them. I just don't use them a lot because I am afraid I'm going to break them. So I like this in that it has a lot of space. I mean, I still probably could put, well, I don't think I could put all my clovers in here, but I could put the other two sets of hooks that I have here, um, the ones from... Paris and then the, the dots hooks I could put both of those in here still and still have room um, to close it up but I'm gonna leave those out for now I may change my mind later but I'm gonna leave them out for now and this lovely little paintbrush holder thing that I have here that's what it's supposed to be used for. Um, my daughter also has one upstairs in her craft area. So she has a craft area. I have a craft area. It's one of the things that I love about this space is that I actually have dedicated space for me. She has dedicated space for her and not just our bedrooms. So we have like our living room and things where we can spend time together. But then we also have um, our own space where we can um, do things separate from each other. My Harry Potter crochet kit still has it opened. This needs to go with my office stuff. And then I can put my hooks here for now. shake it to go over here. So we're going to come around. We're moving these in, maybe. I would show you my desk, but it's kind of, it's really empty, which is kind of nice. Um, it's going to turn. Turning. There we go. Okay. So the camera is on like this swivel access thing. Oh, I'm blurry again. There we go. Um, it's on like this swivel access thing, and then uh, it also moves up and down. And then, like I said, the microphone is on an extension that slides and also turns. Uh, it was a neat kit that the microphone and stuff that I got from uh, the next, actually, which was kind of neat. So I'm going to put my crochet kit there. I have 
two more crochet kits that are actually out there. One is the Nightmare Before Christmas one and one is a cat one. I haven't used the yarn in the cat kit, but I did use one of the patterns to make a cat for my daughter. So I had that out. But um, that is progress so far. It's almost 40 minutes. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed it. Um, I'm probably going to end up doing another segment just because I now need to move all of the boxes that were in the door and bring in all of the yarn and bags that are sitting outside the door, which is going to be a whole nother mess. <laughs> but I now have space in here where I can work and I can take like these things out of the room and put them the rest of my leave their co-patterns see I have them they're all right there uh, but I can put the stuff in recycling that needs to be recycling the stuff that needs to go with the Christmas and then bring in the other things because now I have floor space to work and as you know again I don't have a chair in here um, and I don't want to bring the office chair in here just because it's too big and I'm, I need to be up and down on, be on the floor rearranging things that are down here, um, moving things around. So if I'm sitting and scooting in the chair, it's not really doing me any good in my mind. That may be how other people operate and that's completely fine, but um, because there's, it's not a very big space and if I need to move something around, I'd be spinning probably make myself dizzy honestly so um, let me know what you think in the comments um, about the progress so far uh, again it is the same day for me so it will not be the same day for you uh, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna space these out but I am gonna space them out so that you can see them um, while I'm gone so I'm doing this while I'm still here but while I'm gone I'm trying to have content for you to um, to watch because I don't know what I'm doing while I'm going to be there I mean, I know what I'm doing but I don't know when I'll have time to film and I'm not taking both of my computers I'm simply taking my um, my work computer so I might take my camera but I don't know that my camera will will attach to my work computer because uh, there's lots of permissions that have to happen um, to attach things to the work computer so I don't want to, ow, that really hurts. Um, I don't, I don't want to have to be carrying around two different computers um, and trying to do all of the, the editing and things. So I'm trying to get videos uploaded. I will still be doing my lives, obviously. I know I've already said that before, but um, so you'll get some real time content, but some previously filmed content. Um, so but let me know what you think, any suggestions that you have for my cabinet, my space, anything. Um, just be kind about it, right? Please just be kind. Um, but I welcome any suggestions. Um, if there's something that I should get instead of one of these multiple <laughs> cabinets and carts and things that I have, I, I'm open. I'm open to it. Um, it would take me time, obviously afford it but I'm, I'm open to it uh, and I will let you go as always and be well be safe and be the change you wish to see in the world everyone ciao bella